In a time long ago, in a realm hidden in legend, Queen Rachel sent her people on a quest through the High Queendom. I, a lowly peasant with a mile-long reading slump and only three YouTube followers, joined Team Scribe and began my journey. And when my queen called for me to forge badges for her champions and promoted me to a knight, I swore on my sword and quill I would not let her down. No, 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 no. <laughs> that song's gonna be stuck in your head all week. Not my fault. I didn't write it. I'm also not sorry. With that said, the Bookie Trials Royal Weekender. It is upon us. It's less than a week away when this goes out. I'm so excited. I have more books in my TBR for tactical reasons. I am notoriously bad at actually sticking to my TBRs when it comes to readathons. My monthly TBR, usually I'm only one or two books out, it's not too bad, but for weekenders and bookathons and readathons and all of those, I'm really bad. And it's not through any fault of my own. I get about three or four chapters in and then I decide whichever book it is I'm reading, I hate it, and I don't know how I managed to pick. For the last two months and the two readathons I've done, I've hated all of the books, bar one or two, and therefore haven't actually completed it. So, this month, for this readathon, I am going to be tactical. I have two books for each prompt, hoping that I will like one of them. And that way, if they're in my TBR, they still count, but if I decide that actually this is not the book for me and I want to just skip ahead and read the other book for the prompt, I can still get the badge because even though I designed the badges, I still feel like I need to earn them properly, but I'll still get it for that prompt, is my thinking. The only thing I have not bought two things for is the bake something prompt. I don't like cooking. And now that the world has gone mad, I really wish I'd bought bread, like make your, bake your own bread, but I didn't. I got devil's food cake because it's my favorite cake to make. And you just add a little bit of oil and an egg and you're, you're done. So. I'm so going to stuff my face with this and I'm very excited. But that's the only thing I haven't bought two of because I thought that would be really fatty of me. But I have two books for every other prompt. So let's start with the underrated book. I have two kids books. A couple of the other readathons I've done, I've really struggled because I've chosen like full length books for all of them. I wanted to give myself an easy, let's just take a gentle stroll into a readathon for the first one. So these are my underrated. My primary underrated is a collection of poems for children by T.S. Eliot. This is the Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. If you've seen that terrible, terrible movie, Cats, it's based on this. 
well actually it's based on a musical that's based on this. This is a collection of poems all about Jellicle Cat and they are all trying to win reincarnation. It was one of my favourite collections of poems as a kid so I'm hoping that it holds up and I don't hate it anymore. But in case I do, I also have Richard Adams of the Bureau Cats. This is just a kid's book about two very naughty cats that live in an office and all the shenanigans they get up to. I am a crazy cat lady. I don't know if you can see the, the sleeping bean behind me. There's a sleeping bean behind me. We'll get him out later. But I am a cat lady and I figured I would start my cat lady trip with cat books. So that's for my underrated book. I don't think I know anyone else who's read these. So that's why they're underrated to me. The next prompt is a book within a book, the book binding. Now my go-to book is going to be The Night Country. The sequel to the book I read back in November that broke my reading slump. So this is a this is a signed copy. It's got the gorgeous green pages. It's really, really pretty. I have no worries that I'm going to enjoy this. However, because it's only a weekend and I'm not sure I'm going to get through it, I also have Alice in Wonderland. There is a book on page two of this, so it definitely counts. It's Alice falling into Wonderland. Everyone knows the story. Everyone's seen the Johnny Depp film. It's really bad. Anyway, worst case scenario, this is quite easy because it's another children's book, but this is the one that I'm, this is my A game that I'm quite excited about. The last prompt is the calligraphy prompt. That is way more difficult to say than I thought it was. Now, a lot of the books that I've bought recently don't have any calligraphy on the front at all. So I've gone for an old, this was recommended to me, one. Now I read Cinder and didn't massively enjoy this, but I've borrowed this from my friend Kate and I'm going to give it a few chapters and if I hate it, she's gonna get it back without me reading it. But it has calligraphy on the front, so it totally counts. Now in Cinder, it's a retelling of the classic Cinderella story, for Scarlet, I imagine this is going to be Little Red Riding Hoods. I don't know anything other, like, other than that. I know that there are different worlds and it's quite a modern retelling and there's plagues and all sorts of things, but I found the first one kind of flat. A lot of nothing happened for a long time and then everything kind of happened on the last page. And I really hate books that do that. So I just really struggled to get into it. But if Scarlet can hold my interest, then maybe I'll continue with the series. If, however, Scarlet does not hold my interest, I have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. Don't hate me for not reading this yet, okay? I didn't read books for a really long time and I am trying to catch up with all of the ones that you love getting there. But I thought because it had all the swirls and the gorgeousness on the front, that counts as calligraphy, right? So worst case scenario, if, if Scarlet sucks as much as I think it's going to, maybe going in with a negative mindset, it's not the best plan. But if it does, then at least I know Shadow and Bone should be a blast because so many people have like tweeted me that I need to read this and I'm very sorry that I have not read it yet but I will read this and then I can move on to Six of Crows and all the other shenanigans and then I can watch the TV series that's coming out and I can read Night House and all those other amazing things and you guys can stop hating me and slamming me for not reading the books that you love. I didn't realise that my reading style was so niche to be honest. I think I just missed a few years worth of reading, still had loads of books left over so I read those and no one had ever heard of them by that point so it's just kind of like catch 22 you know. Anyway, that's my TBR. It's a nice short TBR. They are short books. There are no adult books in this. I don't trust myself to finish that in a weekend. I've only ever finished a book of this length in a day once. So maybe t maybe I could do two. I might be able to, I mean, Night Country is shorter, but then yeah. I feel like I've got a nice balance of YA and children's books there. That should see me through. That should make my life a bit easier. I really wish I was a faster reader, but because I'm quite a slow reader, I am kind of balancing that with like audiobooks this month. So I might do a couple of these as audiobooks as well. But I will be available for doing sprints and stuff. I'm really excited to see what the community is reading and I can't wait to see how it all turns out and which badges you guys earn. Cause like, I spent a lot of time making those, obviously with the guidance of the, Her Majesty herself. But I, yeah, I was busy working and then I would make those in the evening and they came out really well. I really like the colors of them. I really like the kind of styles of them. It was fun. It was a really fun thing to make. I've also made some of the Instagram story stuff as well, so let me know if you use any of those. Feel free to tag me in as much or a little as you like. Every time I see that someone has taken the badges, cut them out and stuck them into their reading journal, it just makes my heart warm. Like, it's just so lovely that I've made a thing that people are enjoying. Which I appreciate is stupid because I've just spent two days editing and filming that fucking intro. I just like making you guys laugh. So I'm glad you're enjoying the badges. I hope you enjoyed this video. And because you've made it all this way, here are some bloopers for you to enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And most importantly, have a nice day. The last prompt is the calligraphy. Uh, cal oh, fucking hell. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah.
Yeah, no. What? Does she know what she's doing? No. <laughs> Alright, hold the pose. God damn it. Bush. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. I lost my <laughs> A face. I mean, that's a very powerful punch. <laughs> Fuck, it's cold. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the last prompt is the calligraphy prompt. <laughs> 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 <laughs>